All right, guys, welcome to a new vlog. I know it took a little bit of a break, um, but I went to Georgia, visited family, and last week I was like in this weird like funk. I don't know if you guys ever travel and you come back home, you're like, you need a vacation from your vacation, and mine wasn't really a vacation, so I was like in this weird funk last week. I didn't record a YouTube video, and I didn't even record a podcast, so I'm excited to get back on it this week. So um, we have glutes today, mixed some pre-workout in here. I actually took half a scoop of Legend, and half a scoop of burn. I haven't done burn in a long time and it's humid as crap outside. So I'm gonna be super sweaty today. It's super humid. I did literally 30 minutes on the stair this morning and I was trying to read, um, cause I'm reading um, The Subtle Art of not, giving, of not Giving a Fuck. And I love that book so far. I'm like on chapter four. And I was trying to read cause some of the girls from here, they're always doing cardio and they're reading. And I'm like, okay, let me try it. I don't know how they do it because I had like sweat coming. My hands were covered in sweat. And I was trying to highlight because I like to highlight the pieces in the book that I really like because I feel like I grasped the concept better. And then it would like my sweat would stain the pages. And I was like, okay, this is not cute. So I read for like five pages and then I just kind of put the book down, but did 30 minutes on the stairs. It was tough, but it was good. I'm trying to get my cardio game a little bit better just because it's been kind of like my heart health, like my heart rate just gets so uh, like f high so fast. So I'm just trying to work on that. I am trying to run a half marathon this year. That is one of my goals. So I just need to um, start getting into shape a little bit so we can start the training for that. But I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to like put, to have like an actual physical goal. Um, or like, yeah, it's, a, it's not like a outer physical goal, but like just like a physical, activity goal um, to have this year and I love running so and I love to run in the summer so I'm just really really excited but we're working out glutes today I'm gonna foam roll a little bit while I wait on a rally because a rally is always gets here like around six and then we go and get started so see you in there <laughs> God, stop. I'm trying to look kind of cute. Huh? I'm trying to look kind of cute for the camera. You look good all the time. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> all mad? All right, guys, we are at Oheyo Sushi. This is Arelli's favorite spot. Yeah, it's my, I, I just came on Tuesday. <gasps> you lied to me. I didn't lie. I, 
She lied to me. Yeah, she just asked you. You asked me today? Yeah. I asked you. Like yesterday, she asked you like. No, no, no. I asked her last week. You asked me last week. I asked her because we were supposed to go what day? Thursday. We were supposed to go Thursday last week. Oh yeah, and we couldn't. Oh. I was on the phone with, with Chris. And I was mm. like, well, where are we going to go? Oh, okay. Whatever. Guys, she came without me on Tuesday. It's okay. Ah, uh, see, don't even lie on my name. <laughs> but it's similar to, you guys have seen me at Sushi Masa, so it's all you can eat sushi. It's pretty good. It's a little bit farther of a drive for us, but we're here because I love Aureli, and this is her favorite spot. So we're, well, we're here because we can see Mia. <laughs> and she didn't bring her child. Where's your child? <laughs> She's like, I'm tired of her. I've been dealing with her for two days. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'll show you guys what we get at the table. All right, guys. So I had a um, rain, no, a shaggy dog like this, like Art's right here. Sorry, I already ate all mine. <laughs> and I have um, me and Brett are splitting this crab puff, and then I have some more stuff on the way. So I'll show you guys. Hopefully, before I forget, I will show you before I eat it all. All right, guys. Here's the. Oh. <laughs> all right, guys. So here's the rest of my food. Um, five salmon sashimi, five tuna sashimi, five salmon sushi, and five tuna sushi. Can't wait. All right, guys, good morning. It is Sabado. It is Saturday. I have my Starbucks order right here. Mine and Norelli's and Eddie's, and Chris has his over there. I am, I did my makeup in the car. I've been rushing this morning. I woke up um, and went for my run. Sorry guys, I'm looking at my makeup. I feel like I need to touch it up because my white is, my underneath eyes is a little too bright for me. Um, but yeah, I went for a run. Um, I started my period yesterday and like it was like light and today was very bad and I was like, it's okay, I think I'll be able to push through. I ran a, mi a little over a mile and then I had to call Chris because I was like throwing up on the side of the sidewalk because my pain, my cramps were just too bad and then I needed to go to the bathroom and it was just like, too much going on um, and uh, then I showered and now we're at Starbucks I had to get all my stuff ready because I'm doing um, my friend Rachel's makeup for her show today she's competing in wellness so we're meeting at Aureli's house because it's a halfway between um, my house and the venue and that way because she just got her final coat of tan so now we're gonna get to do her makeup and then her show starts at 12 so we're heading that way I feel like I look so weird on camera right now I don't know why I'm having this like weird. I think the white balance is also Yeah, off. I think the white balance is off. Sorry, guys. I'm just like looking at myself and like, my makeup does not look like this in person. It looks good, okay? And right now on camera, it's not, it's not looking too great. Um, but yeah, guys. All right, I'll, I'll like, I'll get Chris to record a little bit of uh, behind the scenes of me doing her makeup. Hey. Seven time, Mr. Olympia. They call him the gift. Why? He won it seven times. Impossible, man. He did it. Come out here, man. She's tired, guys. That's it? She's gonna jump on stage right now. Guys, I just wanna let y'all know next year there's gonna be a new banner. I'm gonna make one in Canva after the show, and it's gonna be better. Show them the banner. But also these amazing competitors. Can we please give them a round of applause, please? Because I'm off with Hey, I'm gonna jump on this. Hey, I'm gonna jump on this. Hey, I'm gonna This is Novice 8. <laughs> Number 179. She's like, Nina, I'm on camera right now. <laughs> Don't embarrass me. I thought y'all were going home. I thought you were in a rush, dude. What? I thought you were <laughs> late. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> Go, Rachel! Go, Rachel! What's the number? Kilo 5. Okay, let me get 192 and 196 to switch. Alright guys, so last night I baked cookies for Rachel and for everyone. Um, and they're cookies and cream cookies. I make them all the time. You guys, I think uh, you guys have asked me for the recipe on them. And my friends always love them, so I was baking them yesterday. And But last night, I, was, I posted on my story, I was like, 
baking cookies uh, messaged me like for my OF and Brittany, what did you say? You were like, no, that wasn't me. <laughs> no, you were like, let me tag you. Do you want me to tag you? Oh yeah, I was like, you want me to tag you? And I was like, yeah, go ahead and tag me. And you're like, and Brittany was like, what? What flavor are they? And I'm like, oh, just like cookies and cream. And then Art, where are you? Let me see if I can see you. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Art, what did you say? They're called cookies and Chris's cream. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. Where the but, fuck is your car? What is this? Where's my car? Yeah. I think you yeah. passed it. They're yeah. always, always just a little nasty, my friends. A little sus. A little, a little nasty. Yeah, a little sus. Look, huh? Get it from Chris. Like, I was like, shout out to Jazzy Faye for these cookies and cream cookies. She looked like that and she bakes. God damn. <laughs> Oh god. All right, so I, we think Rachel um Well, oh, that's why I missed it. Yeah. Shit, we think Rachel got like oh, second. Shit. You got a sandwich in the middle row. <laughs> second or third place, we're not sure. Um we'll know either tonight. Um but Can I keep this container? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can keep the container. You need a <laughs> I'm like you that one time I gave you that container and you never gave it back. Hey, you're like you need it more than me. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got home from Rachel's show and we had Taco Bell. And then we slept for like an hour and a half. We took a nap and we were going to go eat fajitas, but we're still so full from Taco Bell and it's already 8.30. And I was like, I just don't want to wait, be out on the road, like just waste time till like 9, 9.30 to eat fajitas and come home late. Guys, Chris and I don't really do much on Saturday night, okay? We like to stay in. We like to be cozy. If you haven't texted me by seven o'clock and told me we have plans, my ass is not going anywhere. I'm just staying at home. I am watching a movie that I've already seen probably a hundred times. Chris is either gonna cuddle with me or he's gonna game and it's just, it's just chill, okay? Um, but I'm gonna show you guys what we ended up getting from the grocery store and then I'm making or we uh, put together like a little Easter basket for Mia. So I'll show you guys that too. All right guys, so we got this little chick at the store for Mia, and it turns on with like your- um, It has little contacts. Yeah, with your, uh, like a sensor, like what? Hey, come here. Hey. No, Bindi. No. Bindi, come here. Nah, they're gonna fuck it up. Yeah, they think it's their toy. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the little basket I got at Target. She is a big fan of Maria cookies, and so we got this little mini one that we found. Um, I'm going to put a little bunny in there because it's Easter. We got her these cheetah sunglasses because, you know, summer is coming and she needs to be fashionable. Uh, she's been needing some shoes because her mom, mother hasn't bought her any shoes. So I bought her, uh, no shade on her really, I'm just fucking around. Um, I bought her these that I found at Target. Look at these, look at these sandals. And I got her these white ones as well. So cute because I want her to be fashionable in the summer. And then we got her the little baby chick. And we got her this little like sippy cup because I thought it was cute. And lastly, we got her this Everything is Mama by Jimmy Fallon because she says Dada. She says Daddy, right? She says Dada. But she doesn't say Mama yet, so I want her to say Mama. So this is for my my lovely Arelli so she can call her Mama already. So I'm going to put this all together and I'll show you guys how it looks once it's done. All right, and for snackage. Guys, you know when you go to the store and you have no idea what to get? That was this moment. We didn't know what to get. We didn't know what to cook. I have cookies here at home for dessert, so we didn't grab any dessert. Um, my stomach's hurting a little bit from the Taco Bell, and I'm on my period, so my IBS just tends to flare up. When I'm on my period, I just, because of the cramps, it, it like um, creates a lot of air in my stomach. It's not fun, but. So I got a few things, because I didn't know what I would be feeling. I got some hummus. We got some pita chips. We got, let me show you guys, I'm gonna turn around. We got some Lunchables. Chris loves the pizza ones. I could not decide between the pizza or the turkey and American because I usually get this one, but I was like, mm, the pizza one sounds good, so I got both. And we got some Uncrustables because I was like, I saw Uncrustables and I was like, I think I want some. And then Chris saw these and he was like, let's try them. So I don't know what they are, they're like um, bao, Bowsas. They're like Italian sausage bows. So it's like a little pizza and a little bow bun. So yeah, this is our dinner for tonight, guys. We Honestly, we'll probably only eat one thing. That's what ends up happening. 
we grab a bunch of stuff and we just chris and i are not snackers we are not people who um just like indulge in things we've never been that way and so you know what i think would have been a good babe too what? cereal yeah cereal would have been good too <laughs> but we like to have a couple things we'll probably have one thing and then be like actually we're full because honestly i'm not hungry at all that talk about obviously because we went like napped right after just did not digest so anyways i realized that i did not record uh rachel's makeup um chris didn't take any behind the scenes but she looks so nice on stage uh her body looked incredible i definitely think she needed um obviously a little bit more tie-in and her glue uh, wellness is all about the glute tie-in and the hamstring, but this is her first show and for her to do her first show She has an, an incredible wellness shape So I'm really really proud of her for sticking through because prep is not easy and I know she's gonna place well She's probably gonna do place either second in her class. So um, She'll probably let me know tonight because honestly, they're not gonna get on stage till like 1130 p.m tonight but we have brunch with them in the morning so we're excited we're gonna do a little friends brunch friends brunch to celebrate her and celebrate easter all together but yeah guys um let me see what else i can catch you guys up on before we close the vlog i know it's been a lot of me not I, like i've been in my a i get it let me set the camera down because i'm gonna get tired so i know i've been like in my a i've just been like if you saw if you listen to the podcast i went to georgia i've been like just dealing with some like personal shit so it's like i just haven't been in the best mindset to come on here but this week was different i felt better i also started um, my half marathon training this week it wasn't I, i'm sharing this because you guys think that like i'm perfect and that i don't have setbacks but i also do and um this year has taught me that this year i've had a lot of setbacks and if anything it's taught me to be more patient with myself and not be such a perfectionist all the time it's hard um but this was my first week of my marath half marathon training my half marathon isn't until well it's not until january the one i really want to do but we're going to do one in october so that it like i don't go i mean i don't want to be prepped out like a whole year before my half marathon but i do want to you know kind of be like so right now i'm like April, May, June, July, August, September, October, six months out. Um, so I still have plenty of time. Um, but yeah, I'm just really, really excited. I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it just because I love running. I feel like running is a really big part of me. It's been a really par big part of my life, of my preps. It has allowed me to push myself more than any, like anything. I feel like running was like a big like support for me during my prep if i didn't have running like i feel like i i wouldn't have been able to make it through my preps and it's just a big part of my life it helps a lot with my mental health with my anxiety if that's if i've learned anything the last two months with me taking a scale back from cardio is that cardio is not just cardio because i want to look good cardio is like a big part of my my mental health it helps with my anxiety and things like that so it's been um it was really rough the last two months that i wasn't able to do cardio but I'm excited to be back in it. I'm obviously gonna take it slow. And yeah, running is like a very big part of my life. I love it. And it's just really cool to be doing something that I did in high school and college and that I wasn't really good at and I really did ever like try as hard. And now I'm not trying to come in first place in my race, but I am trying to just push myself, right? And be able to be um, not comfortable in your race, obviously, because you're gonna hurt, but like just, no, now that my mental strength is so much stronger than when I was in high school. So I believe in myself a lot more than when I was in high school. So it'll be really cool. So that's a little update for you guys. Anything we should update there, Mountain? No? Okay. All right, guys. So just wanted to update you guys on that. Um, I'm going to make Mia's little basket and let you guys see it. And then I'll close the vlog. All right, guys. This is the basket all pulled together. I'm excited to see her and the little chicken look. Let, let me let me show you guys. <laughs> Chris and I wanted to get her a real life chick, but they have a dog and probably eat it. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I need to do a lot more like um like girly vlogs. I haven't done like a get ready with me in a while, so I'll probably do that here soon because. I know you girls love to see my makeup and my hair and stuff like that, but hope you girls are killing it. 
We're already in April. We have a very um, busy month ahead of us. Um, exciting month ahead of us, so I'm excited to share that with you guys. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.